Doug Rippy over here in Dublin, Ohio for the car show. Dublin, Ohio has these little pitch pines. Corporate Center, uh, Hilton, Embassy Suite, Arthritis Foundation. The ponds where the cars gather. It's off to a sort of a slow start. It's 9.30 Saturday and expecting a thousand cars. So we're here charging $15 to get in plus a donation to the arthritis. So that's mid 60s. Huh? A little uh, squirrely pitch pine like a drill bit. He's got a Chevelle. So I'm not sure how they have it all marked off. Here's a classic motorcycle. The cars are coming in. Have some um, modern art here. Uh, stainless steel sculpture. But production 66 to 89. I'm, I'm not sure how they. This is their 32nd annual, which takes it clear back to what 81. Um, the first one, I've never made it past the gate where I see they're charging. That's a, I'm local, so. Um, a friend of mine, I have a complimentary admission from a friend of mine, a business associate, also a good friend. I paid my way in. He wanted me to be here today. Uh, I hope to be here a few hours. These Avantis look brand spanking new, with no exaggeration. I mean, brand new Avantis. I'm not sure um, how they did it, but and they're the modern tires from 2022. Um, these cars look like they just rolled off the uh, assembly line. In every way, this is as close as I'm going to get to them. This one has square headlights, and that one's that. As round ones. So they're expecting a thousand cars from all over the Midwest. That car was over at Clark County by Springfield, I guess. The registration was anyway. And they're showing where this this Avani has a thirteen thousand original miles, so in some terms it would be considered fairly new. It has the General Motors transmission. Okay, and, and the, the engine has been replaced already. Um, the Avani's powered with a Chevrolet products. New, new, uh, it's got a Z28 engine in it. That's why I'm saying that the 13,000 in the old days, that's, you need a new car. That, you know, that's all the miles you put on a car. And it has a factory sunroof, which is cool. And another thing, they're fiberglass cars. I, th I thought it was a door that went up there, but, that's just a body line and the it looks like a door but the, the door ends right there not really familiar with them and uh, it'd be hard to find someone to work on one fiberglass cars like Corvettes and things moving our way uh, through here we're gonna be skipping over a lot of stuff I'm not sure what this is about Huh. Is that a gal? I get some of those mixed up too. They they kind of this has the gold engine in it, the rocket. Beautiful convertible car too. And check out this. Uh, he's got the Lamborghini doors. They they have uh, to drive your car over the curb. They think of everything, don't they? Don't. Yeah, it's a good good thinking, you know. And uh, these cars are hand built with a low production, you know, per year. And then by the end, Plymouth was out of business. So he's got some cool looking fenders. I don't remember them being factory, but you know, I could be wrong on that. But yeah, Ohio wants you to have fenders on the, the state patrol anyway. So this guy was screaming over here a minute ago. People weren't moving around fast enough and then uh, I don't remember Chrysler coming out with that shiny covering it looks like they've smoothed over the ugly bumpers and made them prettier and did they come out of the factory with the chrome um, it's really like an IndyCar inspired and then 
The shock absorbers are in here, like a V and the Optima red top in the middle. You know, a 3.5 in there, that's, that should be enough, really, I mean. So he has an El Camino. We're crossing the street. A couple more Chevrolet products. A beautiful, um, looks like a showgirl's car. I was, and it's an Oldsmobile. It has the license plate way under in the front. It, it looks like a, a aftermarket front front uh, plastic on it. You, you think aftermarket ground effects? Cutlass Supreme convertible. So a lot of Porsches. I'm going around this show. Here's the banner. Um, I'm gonna go around here clockwise. It's a big horseshoe. And this is new, uh, but that smiley face, I'm not sure if that's Fred Reichardt's family. Then Arthritis Foundation, 39th year, classic cruising in the city of Dublin. Moo Moo Car Wash is a really popular thing now. That radio station is probably the most popular. Haggerty's pretty involved. Beamer down here. A lot of good local companies. Um, theft Prevention Alert, but there's... A few heavy hitters and uh, billionaires, multi-billionaires that live around here. And beautiful neighborhood. It's a nice place to live. I, I wouldn't wouldn't have it any other way. Moss Military Museum, Groveport, Ohio, which is on the opposite end of town. We're on the northwest, and they're on the southeast, basically. And they were at the Delaware County Fair, and they have a nice display. Really nice. Didn't make it to the air or any uh, things. We'll have to get over here sometime to their museum. Some trench art in there. Some gunny sacks. Those, those work good for gardening. A trunk. And then um, a practice chute over top of the EVF. Some guns there, possibly from International. Ammo, the flashlights. Got a lot of things there. Be fun for the kids. Some Constantia wire. This one's a Dodge from the Korea. M2 or something. A little Continental flathead in there, probably. A Kaiser, I suppose. Might be a GMC. I think it's an older one. I don't know. It's got the fifth wheel on it. This is the Hilton, the military tribute that. There's my car where I parked. I'm at the I'm at the Hilton. Here's the Rolls Royce. Have my room at the Hilton. Here he comes. Left hand drive. Yeah, that's the same guy, he's local. I don't know how many of those cars he has though. And those are stuff. Or me a lot. These guys are coming out of the hill. I'm not sure what these are. Right here. Alpha Romero's. They get up there in price, don't they? And that's what that 3.5 in that General Motors. You, they know how to get horsepower out of these. I was looking at one guy back in the 80s. He had a four cylinder. He set the world record. He was running seven second quarters with a four cylinder. Huh. So, this is what we're here to see. This is what you're paying for right here. And I'm not sure what it is. And then I was up to Auburn, which they're not going to have that anymore because Cruzy's a soccer field now. And uh, there's Alfa Ramirez, I think it was, come around the corner. And I caught a Mercedes Benz. And when I looked at the auction results, they. It was really scary what they brought. It was into the atmosphere valuation. Um, I mean, just for someone to be driving something that cost that much, it was incredible. So, I guess this is what we're here to see too. It's a it's a truck. It's at a car show, and it's got these nitro tires on it. And these 
four-wheel disc brakes. These are coil spring rear end trucks. It, it's still a coil spring rear end. It's marked at 20, but to have the coils, it's, it was a 10 or 15, if I remember right. That was a long time ago. So that's kind of cool that there's a lot of cars coming in. They told me I'd be here a while, but I've, I've dunked down underneath this. Just, I haven't seen one of these for a while. They rust out. There's a coil spring. And then there's a trailing arm. This huge trailing arm that goes up there. He's got drum brakes on the back. I'm sorry. Yeah. There you go, and that, that's what they make low risers out of. They, they can put the bags in here and stuff and bounce that car, or truck in this case. There's the emergency brake cables, the coil springs, and that trailing arm. You never see that. And people, I talk to people that own them and they don't know what I'm talking about. And a 20 didn't have them, it had leaf springs. But they put a different badge on there just to... It's got the powder coated looking black, matte black uh, bumper and the red with the white top. And um, then no two people have like the same mirrors hardly. Everybody's got their own preferences on the mirrors. Aftermarket and then two back in that day the dealer and suppliers built their own. The, the trucks come out of Detroit without bumpers, so sometimes you can tell the region where the truck come from from the bumper because a bumper like that says California to me versus Ohio. So whoever whoever fabricated this bumper, it looks to be from the period and um, so that's a guess and then over here see this one's been chromed it's a short bed the highlighter pen seen a few Teslas um, there's another place where they're taking money over here what do you think about that orange one What's this guy doing? Somebody from Washington State. The car is anyway. That's what I'm. I know some people had one. They, they bought it brand new, and then um, actually he passed away, and she's still alive. But 79 with the square headlights like that. 6.6 in the brown, then there's yellow, silver, blue, black, you, you name it. Those cars were all over town back in the day. Check out this Benz in a unique color. Off yellow. But the Sinclair with those, um, a tri-power and probably a flathead, you think? Yeah, a Hemi. Just an old mouse motor in there, huh? Pretty cool. Parked out in front of the gas station, a little thrift master, and pretty sweet upholstery. And uh, we didn't have some clear gas stations. That, that was another thing. That's a western, you know, to me. I'm a horror guy. I like that bumper. So is this the same guy? He, he's got both headlights down. I think that's him, though. He put his other headlight down. Accord. Accord? Yeah. A job master, 261. A royal blue and a red seat and a silverish door.
and some tubeless radios.